Hello everyone and welcome to a new series on my channel called Week Check. Now, every week I'm going to try and bring you the latest news on the releases for the next seven days. I've got a kind of new intro in this, so this is for some housekeeping. I kind of want you to choose which one's the best or which one I should roll with. So put your comments below after this intro and let me know what you think. Let's go. So like I said, I mean, every week I'm going to try and give you a video release on Sundays, just to let you know what's coming up for the next seven days. A bit of housekeeping here. I've got the information from all different kinds of sources, like Soul Supplier, Foot Patrol, Size Releases, things like that. Now, with every kind of kick, every kind of release, there's either some delays so they don't come out, or there's some surprise drops. So I'm going to try and give you the information I have at hand now. So whoever was going to try and get at me because I haven't covered certain things, you can get at me because there's all sorts of trailers being released. So I'm just going to try and give you the heads up on some of them, which I think will be the ones to look out for. And some obscure ones, which I know some people just like them because they're classics and they're going to be released again. And it's that retro. So without further ado, let's just get into this. Starting on Monday, the 22nd of November, the first kit we have is the Jordan 1 High fly easy black gym red now this is a black red and gray silhouette with a red tick black upsole and a gray toe box the midsole is white with the sole being completely black now the unique thing about this jordan is that you can open it from the side rather than just the laces at the top and slip your foot in there i think they're going to retail for around about 145 pounds i think this is going to be on a general release on the nike store so it's not a sneakers release, so you should be able to cop this, but again, you're going to have to work in terms of sizing, you know, the, the most popular sizes will go pretty quick. It's a decent colorway. I can still see it sitting for a bit, like a lot of Jordans are sitting now, but there's one to look out for if you want to go for that. The next release is 24th of November, and this is the highly anticipated third release of the Pata Wave with Nike Air Max 1s. Now this is the night maroon color. Having a look at this trainer, I think it's got a leather upper with a bit of a silver just behind the tick. It's got the patter wave as you've seen in the Noise Aqua and the Monarch. I get, again, it's got the silver uh, metallic mesh type look material on the toe box and the classic Air Max 1 bubble in the heel. This is going to sell out. This is on a sneaker app, so I can see a lot of L's rather than the wins. Pat released it on their own website and their own stores a week ago, and they went completely. It wasn't as mad as when they first went with the Monarchs or the Aquas, but definitely they were gone again. So if you want this one, again, this is one I think is just going to sell out straight away. So I wish you luck on that. Put your notifications on now. Get your payments ready for sneakers. And fingers crossed at 8 o'clock like everyone else. Now on the same day, the 24th of November, we have the Amonier, I don't know if I said that right, the Amonier Jordan 1 High. If you know Amonier, they released the Jordan 3s and they went completely. The, again, this is just a woman's shoe. It's going to go up to size 9, I think, UK. I think it's going to cost around £145. So basically the standard for a Jordan 1. This will go. This has got a tan suede upper with a snakeskin type brown swoosh and a waxy brown laces to go with it. The bottom is brown. The midsole, I think, is a cell color. But, you know, if it's, I mean, yeah, the attention to detail in this is going to be crazy. And I think this is definitely one that's going to go. For, unfortunately, because I've got a size 12, I can't go in for this again. I, just will, I, I haven't seen it on a sneak crap yet. This one may not come out. It's just out there to be released on that date. But if it does, it's definitely going to be a sneaker. I can't see it being a general release on a Nike website. So keep your eyes out of that. This might be a sudden drop and, you know, early access and all that stuff. <laughs> Moving on to the 25th, we have a size exclusive New Balance. And it is the 57 slash 40 Women New Balance. Now, this is it's a New Balance. So it's got premium uppers, premium material. I think it's a suede and leather type upper. I think it's going to retail for around about £100. So have a look on that. That should be released. I don't see them putting this one back. And again, I think it should be released in all sizes. So that's the 
Size exclusive with New Balance, the 57-40s. Moving on to the 26th of November, we have, I cannot say it's an anticipated release, but it's definitely one what's been shown a lot, and that is a Jordan 11 Animal Instinct. Now, it's a Jordan 11 silhouette throughout, but where you usually have the patent, I don't know, the patent around the midsole or above the midsole on this one, it's now like a zebra print, but with zebra kind of fur around it. It's on a sneakers app. It's going for £170. It's a women's release only, size 2.5 to 9.5. I can see it being picked up, but I can also see it sitting as well in certain sizes. So if you're interested in that, go to sneakers app. I think it's £170. And put your notifications up and get ready to cop that one in the morning as well. Staying with the 26th of November, we have a release of a classic Adidas Originals and that's the Stockholm Women's. Now this is a typical Adidas blue and yellow with a blue suede and yellow stripes Adidas with a gum, gum sole bottom. Uh, this is going for about £80, which is the usual price for these type of trainers. That is being released on the Size app, so have a look at that. Again, this is something you should copy. These are just Adidas Originals. You you know, if you if you like them, you like them. You're gonna go and get a pair. But these are being retro out again, so keep your eye out for those ones. Now, on the 27th of November, we have another Yeezy drop. Now, this is the Yeezy 700 Faded Azure. Now, this is a classic Yeezy 700 silhouette with uh, a kind of bluish kind of hue to it it's going to have a premium uppers and you know the traditional 700 sold this is going for probably around 220 the problem you've got is i haven't seen it on a confirmed app now it may be on the yeezy drop you know website when they do it but i haven't seen them it's just booked in to be released on the 27th so have a look. I said it would go for 220. I think a lot of it is being marked at 180 at the moment, but I think it's one you'd have to keep your eye out as the week goes on because it might be just dropped all of a sudden, but it is booked in for the 27th of November. So keep your eye out that if you like the Easy 700 silhouette. It's definitely one to cop. It's a nice colour as well. Again, labelled for the same day, the 27th of November, is the Cause Sakai Blazers in low. And I think you've got two colours. It's called the blue and the red multicolour. Now, it's a traditional Sakai remix of a classic blazer low. You've got the traditional doubling up what Sakai do in the midsole and the heel and the swoosh. But because it's got Cause involved, it's got the different colours, what you get on the Cause dolls or Cause teddy bears. I don't know what you call them. But... That's a little collab there, which is it's a quite unique one. I don't think they're going to be sold out completely unless you're a Cause fan, they're just going to go. I don't think they're going to be expensive. I'm not too sure how much the price is. Again, it's slated in for release on the 27th. If they do release on the 27th, then you know where to look. I think it will probably, it doesn't look like it's a sneaker drop. Probably have to go to the Nike website or look at the Cause website. It might have it on there as well. So that's one to look out for. If you're into Cause and you're into Sark, Sakai, the way they remix the trainers, then this is definitely a one to cop. Now that's it. That brings us to Sunday, the 27th of November. There's not much more to say. Like I said, this is going to be a new episode on my channel. I will do this weekly. I'm going to drop the videos every Sunday to give you a heads up for the next release on Monday down all the way to the next Sunday. If you like the video, put in this video gave you content, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. And definitely hit the notification bell so you know when I've uploaded more videos. First episode of Week Check. Let me know what you think of the intro. Actually, let me know what you think of this intro. Next week, I'll do another intro. And then we can see. And then we'll kind of sort that out and see which one we're going to go with. Or we might just go with both of them and just swap them everywhere. But we'll see. Okay, that's me. I'm gone. Peace.